And this festival, guys, is hosted by the Capri Club Schwaben. And this is hosted in Karl Stammheim. And well, this is me. So here we have. So we have uh, two examples from the first Capri Club Remscheid, that's somewhere in North Rhine Westfalica. Wonderful red mark three. This one is looking kind of like the Mercury Capri. It's a Mark II. So zooming out a little bit. Well, take a look at this, guys. Beautiful color, ACDC guys. Also look at these wonderful rims. And here guys, the owner was just opening the hood. This is the engine Turbo Mai. 2.8. 2.8 liters guys. The Mark II. Wonderful. Wie viel PS hat er? 204 horsepower, guys. <laughs> this must be amazing. And the grill is from the Mercury, guys, but uh, it was replaced because this is not the original grill from this car, so this is still the Ford. Beautiful. Also loving the color. So, it was a very really nice talk, guys. And so guys, this here is another Ford Capri Mark II in a wonderful orange metallic, maybe it's even a Mark III, I'm not 100% certain, but the red one here, the fat guy here, this is a Mark III for sure. The same as this fat guy, this is a Mark I. RS injection guys. Oh look at this guys, 2600. And look at these white fenders. Beautiful cars. I'm so glad I'm here today. It's also around my area where I'm living. And ah, you can see this is a Mark III. And my luck is this is not too far away from my place. And so in last year I had some bad luck. Oh, this color, so amazing. So in last year I had some bad luck in Speyer because I was there on a Sunday. And on Sunday the guys are actually leaving. Oh, this color. I've seen this particular one here actually also at a few classic car meetings over here. Absolutely loving this color. I've also seen this one in Speyer on Sunday, but well, it was leaving before I was uh, able to film it. Here's a wonderful Mark III in white. Loving this uh, two tone color. Yeah, Capri S. So, as you can see, there's also the Mustang horse because this is the European pony car. There's one more coming. A beautiful Mark III in a light blue metallic. Beautiful guys, beautiful. So, but just going on. So here, Turbo Mark III guys. And as you can see, there are tents because they are also camping here overnight. 
people are also coming from all around of Germany, as I can see. I've even seen one car with a Swiss license plate. People are very nice, as I told you. So the one guy was already opening the hood for me to film it with 204 horsepower. But this car already weighs more than 1,100 kilograms, so it's sounding faster than it maybe is. But well, of course, for these cars, 204 horsepower is still amazing. And looking at the cars from nowadays, I mean, if I'm thinking about my Fiat Tipo or Dodge Neon 3, then, well, the weight is uh, already 1450 kilograms, almost like a W210. This is also an amazing body kit here. Oh wow, look at this guys, Ford Capri 3.2, I was actually thinking that the uh, 2.8 was the, the highest one. And well, some of you diecast um, car collectors, motor car collectors are perhaps also remembering about an old uh, model car from uh, Burago, I'm thinking, in a scale 1 to 24, in this particular color. So this is a very classic color. And here guys a wonderful Mark 1. And well, you can also see some things that are also remembering kind of like to the uh, Ford Mustang. This is, by the way, a 2300 GT. Oh, this, this wonderful um, fake air vent. I'm thinking this is kind of a little reminder or memory to the Ford Mustang. Look at this guy, it's beautiful. This one's coming from Bavaria. I'm thinking this is the pre facelift or the original version from the Ford Capri Mark 1. Oh wow, guys. Also a beautiful Mark 1 with a nice body kit, guys. Really fat. Wonderful blue metallic. The silver racing stripes, guys. It's my house and start with me. Well, now some generations here, Mark 1, Mark 3, another Mark 3, wonderful red color, and here is a Mark 2, Ford Capri S. 
And here's a Mark III. Well, once I was also hearing that uh, for some time the people were still calling it a Mark II, but it's a facelift of the Mark II only. But for me, it's also a Mark III. And here another one. Not sure if this is this time the US specification. The US specification was only sold as Mercury Capri. Oh, look at this livery. Two tone blue bottom and white top. And this has also an amazing spoiler. I will just have to show it to you. And here's this wonderful light blue metallic Ford Capri that we were seeing arriving here. Absolutely wow guys. At my very first um, classic car, well not meeting, or it was also a meeting but also uh, driving around. Um, there was also someone with a Ford Capri, I can remember that. And he told me that these cars have one big issue because uh, these cars are also rusting of course. I mean they are old, of course, and they have rust. And so usually some are getting wider at the front than they should get because of the rust. So until the fenders are falling off. Not sure if it's true, but that's what I heard. Look at this guys. And loving this um, shell logo there. It's really a cool design. And here guys, another blue one. This one is from Offenburg. It's also here in uh, Baden-Württemberg. And this one is coming from St. Gallen from Switzerland, guys. This one is from Bavaria, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Bavaria. Ford Capri S, that's the Mark II. This one is also from Bavaria. And another one from New Ulm. And also, of course, this one was coming from Bavaria. Also coming from Bavaria. Not sure if it's a Mark II or Mark III. This one has also a very cool metallic paint. And here the black one. Black is also wonderful. This one is coming from Turingia, I would say. And Turingia is the place where my dad, who passed away in April, fortunately, due to cancer, uh, well, was also born in Turingia. So, big greeting to the old birthplace of my dad. And here, guys, is a bicycle. No, I'm meaning the Ford Capri. Beautiful, guys. Trying to not think back. Designed by Ford. And here, guys, the black one. Black is beautiful. 